This is one of seven videos presenting the units of learning outcomes developed within Pirate Project. We invite you to also watch the introduction video about Earth Building and our project. The Equit Earth Building is a matrix of nine units of learning outcomes designed to create new teaching contents and certifications. Unit M is the core unit of the Equit Earth Building. It describes the knowledge, skills and competence that enables a person to transform Earth into building materials. Earth building materials are made of mineral soil, water and sometimes fibers. Most of the soils on our planet are appropriate for use in construction. There are almost as many building techniques as soils. Earth naturally contains sands and gravels of different grain size, which is the skeleton of the material, and clay of different mineralogical categories, which is the binder of the different grains. Simple field tests allow comparison of the particle size distribution and cohesion of different soils. The soil is processed before it can be mixed and formed into a building material. The processing may reduce the grain size either by sieving out the gravels and stones or by crushing them. Sometimes it is necessary to grind or dissolve lumps made of sand and clay before mixing them with more sand, gravel, clay or fiber. Depending on the extraction site, the scale of the work and the equipment available, there are many different ways to prepare the material. The secret of transforming the raw earth into a construction material is the blending. As with cooking, you choose the best combination of ingredients. If the earth available needs anything added, a mix is made using a second soil, sand, fibers of different kinds. These ingredients also may have to be processed before use. But how to find out the correct recipe? By testing. Samples are made either for plastering, brick production, or for rammed earth or cob, and different mixes are tested. The analysis of the samples is normally done after drying. Some properties may be laboratory tested and need specific equipment. Often, testing procedures from soil science or cement industry are adapted for earthen materials. The properties of the soil may influence the choice of the building technique, so it is necessary to include testing in the design process. Once a suitable mix has been chosen, the materials are produced. The quantities have to be calculated and the different components ordered, prepared and properly stored. The mixing may be done on site or off. Different mixes and different water contents need to be achieved, depending on the chosen building technique. The scale of the building project, the amount of material needed, determines the mixing equipment. During the whole process, from extraction to preparation and mixing, there is regular quality control of the components and the mix. Samples are taken regularly. Throughout the production of earth building materials, choices are made at every stage. Sourcing, extraction, processing, mixing and storage. Workers, supervisors and designers have to know the quality controls and the parameters influencing the choices at all of the steps. In the case of prefabricated materials and ready-to-use mixes, there are still issues on knowing the providers, comparing products, testing and amending them. The best solution is decided according to economic, aesthetic, ecological and socio-cultural criteria. Understanding the behavior of clay in relation to sand, fiber and water is a basis for decision-making. Site organization in the design process, in the material production stage and during building itself ensures success. <laughs>